Come see the wonders of our God, how glorious are your ways. In Moses' hand you put your rod, and cleaves the frightened seas. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Sunday, July the 21st. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and it's week three in the Psalm cycle and the scripture for this service. Psalm 119, verse 169 to 176. Romans chapter 11, verse 33 to chapter 12, verse two. And Tobit chapter 13, verse one through four. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Alleluia, let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise when you have taught me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word, for all your commandments are true. Let your hand help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I have longed for your salvation, my God, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let my cry come before you, my God. Give me understanding according to your word. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, beginning at verse 33. Oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and how inscrutable are his ways! For who has known the mind of God, or who has been God's counselor, or who has given a gift to God? to receive a gift in return. For from him and through him and to him are all things, to him be the glory forever. I appeal to you therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, who is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Blessed are you, O God, who lives forever, and blessed be your dominion. For you scourge and you have mercy. You lead down to hell and you bring up again, and none can avoid your hand. Confess God before the Gentiles, O children of Israel, for the Most High has scattered us among them. Declare God's greatness and extol the Most High before all the living. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God, who lives forever, and blessed be your dominion. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.